left indicator right indicator indicator of headlight on one more time high beam high beam of washroom wiper is pulled to body so if this examiner asks you uh, in the yeah. left hand side left so hand side left hand side if the examiner asks you washroom a wiper just pull to body okay. aise kar yeah. so show me front demister please this is the front demister yeah this is the back register okay show me has a light please this is the has a light oh yeah okay. show me handbrake this is handbrake okay this show me brake show me horn okay so this okay. is the basic function of the co car okay. and they going to ask you before starting your driving test it's called pre driving safety check okay can we do it again you want to do it again yes no problem so left indicator please yeah. right indicator please indicator off headlight off headlight on high beam just push to a different high beam off washroom wiper front demister back demister has a light hand brake brake horn very good well done so when you feel safe take a wicker road exit please yeah. so that's how your driving test is going to be they going to ask you these pre driving safety check okay. you must need to know the basic function of the car if you not going to show the basic function of the car they not going to take your test So we're going to turn left. Turn left. Yes. Always, whenever you go taking a exit, just make your position very nice yeah. and keep your indicator on. Sometimes when you taking a exit of any whenever you turning left and right, indicator get off. Yeah. So it's your responsibility to yeah. keep your indicator on all the time. Whenever you turning, doesn't matter how long it take, just keep waiting. Only you need to go when you feel safe. No yeah. need to rush. Yeah. So you can go because yeah. we going turn left into left line. Okay. The white car was coming in the right line because we are we were because we are not going in the right line. Turn left. So here is a slip line is going left. So you need to go in that line and do shoulder check. Make sure. Why we did a sh shoulder check here? Because there is a bike line. Yes. Okay. Yes. So any time you cross the bike line, you must need to do shoulder check. Yes. And then speed up. There was a safe gap, and you failed to give way. If in the driving test, if you going to jump front of any car, if anybody will slow down because of you, anyone press use brake because of you. or anyone move to another line because of you it's failed to give way and you not driving safe so make sure always whenever you turn maintain your speed limit when two line become a one line give your right indicator right shoulder check like before there was a two lines and it's become a one line so always if the two line become a one line if you are in a left hand side give your right indicator and right shoulder check
We're going to take next left place. Yep. For turning left and right, as you can see, there is a many slip line. Slip lane. Just go in that lane and try to turn left from there. Okay. And when you go in that lane, make sure to go from dotted line. Never touch a solid line. And as you can see, these the speed humps. These speed humps are uh, pedestrian, pedestrian crossing. If somebody is standing left and right, you must need to give way to them. So turn right. Very good, well done. So we're going to turn right. So do a reverse parallel parking please behind this silver car. Do you know how to do a reverse parallel parking? I have done. You have done many times? Not many times, very less. Very less time? So yeah. you you know how to park it perfectly? Yeah, eh? I can park. You can park perfectly. So that's very good then if you know how to park. Because you 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 because you are you cannot go back more. Yeah. Okay, and you touch because there is a curb, so that's why and as you can see there is a front side there is a car, so you don't have a space to move. So okay, the test don't do this type of the mistake. Okay. okay. Oh, they oh, they only going to say to you behind one car. They not going to say to you between two cars. So make sure whenever they say to you do a reverse parallel parking so first of all keep go a bit more back because if you will go a bit more back you will have a more space to spin your car so now as you can see we don't have any space to spin our car we just stuck yeah. okay so we just stuck so we will do somewhere else Okay, I will teach you how to do reverse parallel parking. It's a very easy technique. You will just start to do just in a two minutes, just in a first go. So do a three point turn, please, wherever you feel safe. Three point, do you know how to do three point turn? Yeah. Okay, give your right indicator. Give your right indicator first and go in a driveway. Using driveway three point turn. You look, this is driveway. Your positioning is not good. So you can go a little bit more inside the driveway. Make sure you can go till the mailbox. Okay, don't cross the mailbox. Okay. This house mailbox is a little bit uh, out inside the boundaries. So be very careful. So 
I can go till there. Yeah? Here is fine. Till here. Till here, yeah. Okay. Because this ha the, this house, the mailbox is inside the boundaries. Normally, you just just use the only public property. Don't enter in anyone's private property. Okay. So this is called three pointer. How you feel about about three point turn and re, your reverse parallel parking? Yeah, um, need more practice, but I I know little bit of more about three point turn, but okay. Yeah, I have to do practice about parallel parking. The reverse parallel parking. End of the street, turn left. Turn right. Okay, if someone is flashing you, you can go. You you have a priority. They giving you give way. Okay. If someone is like this type of the situation, is the car uh, cars are standing left hand side and right hand side, and if someone is coming from the front, turn right. So it's a common understanding who will go first. So if you will see a safe gap, you can give way to them. If they will feel a safe gap, they will give way to you. Okay. But you need to make sure to understand about other road users. Like the, the front side vehicle, he was flashing you. If anyone is flashing you, that means they are giving you give way. Turn right. Turn left. Do a three point turn, please, when you feel safe. Give your right indicator. Okay. So if you do this, if if you're doing a three point turn, don't pull over left hand side. Directly go to right hand side driveway. Use using this is using driveway three point turn. You're doing. Mm -hmm. If you're doing using driveway three point turn, you don't need to pull over left hand side. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Well done. Most common mistake student they do they 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 forget to check look back. Mm -hmm. Always whenever you reverse look back. Very good. Well done. Three point turn you're doing little bit comfortably, but make sure keep in the mind. If, if you're doing using driveway three point turn, don't pull over left hand side. Just like you are going in the middle of the road, you just need to go right indicator and directly you need to go to drive. End of the straight, turn left. Make sure check your middle mirror. Because if you are not going to check your middle mirror, you can fail in stage 1. Because many beginner drivers, they fail their driving test just in a stage 1, just because of pointing system. Because if, 
whenever you turn whenever you use whenever you going from the speed hump you must need to look middle mirror because middle mirror always you need to check whenever you pressing your brake like mirror brake mirror brake so always especially at whenever you turn left and right and whenever you go from any speed humps you must need to look your middle mirror okay many students they fail their driving test just in stage 1 stage 1 is only 10 minute in the first stage one they will say to you do three point turn reverse parallel parking and pull lever so they they lose lots of points turn left just because of not checking enough mirror so keep looking your mirror this one you need to you need to make it habit and once they fail their driving test they, they feel they, they they feel very bad they saying we are doing everything correctly and yeah. why what is the reason the fail of the test yeah but they don't understand they must need to check the middle mirror also whenever they using the the brake how you feeling now bit comfortable yeah. the as you can see there is a 40 sign the 40 sign is not a uh, this is notice this is 40 sign it was a school time yeah like 8 o'clock to 9:30 2:30 30 to 4 o'clock but now it's today is a saturday yeah. so it's not a school time so what speed limit you need to follow 60 yeah very good so turn left please So now I'm going to show you how you can go from the bike line shoulder check whenever you cross your bike line you must need to do shoulder check many students they fail their driving test just because of the bike line <coughs> so always because someone can be back side yeah. so make because if you will turn without looking you can hit the bike so always whenever you cross any line any bike line you must need to do your left shoulder check and then you need to move end of the street do a u turn please This is your first lesson, Palak. Ah, uh, before I have taken two, three lessons, but ah, uh, last year. Last year. Yes. So we are going to do reverse parallel parking, Palak, behind this black car. Do you know how to do it, Palak? No, I do. But uh, you want to try your side? It's more gap. Is that fine? Yeah, or? that's fine. you try before also so you trying second time make sure this time do it perfectly okay. you you made a one mistake you forget to look check back whenever you reverse look back very good well done park palak this is very good parking but make sure you need to park every time like this 
Keep going straight, please, when you feel straight. Because sometime if you parking and sometime if you are not able to park, that means your technique is working sometime and sometime it's not working. So you need to you need to use another method, mm. or you need to be the best in whichever way you're doing. Okay, if you not if you not able to park every time, let me know. I can tell you the method, and you can do it with that that method. You can do it every time perfectly. You can tell me the method as well. So I can tell you the method also. Okay, yeah. no problem. So I will share with you the method. But okay. make sure if I'm sharing the method, just follow every time exact like that. So you cannot mix your way okay, and yeah. that uh, that Definitely. that technique okay. to do a reverse parallel parking. Okay. End of this street, turn right. Very good, well done. Very good patient. Turn left. So again, uh, I'm going to show you about the bike line. No, you don't need to do shoulder check now. Make sure whenever you cross, you need to do shoulder check now, and then you need to turn. Because if you're going to turn your head check little bit early, there will be no benefit. Yeah. Maybe when you check, there was no one was there. Okay. But once you start to turn, maybe someone is there. Uh -huh. So always, whenever you cross your bike line, you must need to check your shoulder check just before moving. Check and move. Take your next left again, please. What speed limit is here, Palak? 50. Yes. So all the residential area and the in and, and the industrial area, the speed limit is 50. Speed limit is 50. Or main roads. The speed limit is 60. Now I am going to show you about the stop sign. Many people they make mistake turn left. They make a mistake on the stop sign. Make sure stop sign means you need to completely stop. Completely stop for 3 seconds. Like full stop 1. No, no, don't go yet. Okay. Don't go yet. Full stop two, full, full stop three. So three, after counting three, then you need to look the safe gap. Okay. Before even there is a safe gap, make yeah. sure don't go. Okay. If on the stop sign, if you will be fail to stop, it's immediate termination. Turn right. Many students on the stop sign even they don't slow down they just they they just they just treat like a giveaway sign stop sign if you not going to slow and you directly you going to go it's immediate termination so stop sign is a serious fault always in the stop sign you must need to stop so i'm going to take you again one more stop sign and then I'm going to see how you're going to do. So next straight turn left. Give your indicator little early, three seconds. 
always whenever you turn give your indicator bit early stop sign you doing very good but make sure you did very major mistake as you can see there is a thick line yeah. thick. Mm -hmm. you need to stop one meter behind the line you cannot stop your car top of the line okay, okay? Yeah. so that is major mistake also you done so always whenever you turn right whenever you turning left or right or stop sign so you must need to stop your car one meter behind the line not too far not too close so turn right so again i'm going to take you one more stop sign so do it very carefully make sure don't do any mistake end of the straight turn left and make sure when you turning keep your positioning bit left hand side also so in the driving test they going to mark you mark you about the positioning also okay. yeah full stop full stop 1 full stop 2 full stop 3 and then look and then go very nice well done turn right so that's how you need to do on a stop sign do you have any question about the stop sign no and look again you did one more major mistake Le yes in this roundabout we are going you just cross the line and just stop your car someone can hit you this is very dangerous position so in the test any time you going to cross the line and you going to stop your car in the roundabout it's immediately fail so make sure stop your car behind the line behind never cross the line and stop your car so many people fail because when they looking for a safe gap they move just little bit lift little bit and they just cross the line make sure go in a one go you now you can go as that that car was so far yeah if no one is coming on your way you can go for example if somebody from left hand side turning right so you can go very good well done so that's how you need to go from the roundabout do you have any doubt about the roundabout when you should go and when you not make sure in the roundabout only you need to give way to right. those week you need to give way to right also and those vehicle coming on your way yeah. if no one is coming on your way you don't need to give way next straight turn right look as you can see the speed limit is 40 here and you driving on the 43 turn right so make sure when any time you crossing any speed limit you must need to slow down your speed limit just before entering to the speed sign so if you going to slow down after the speed sign it will be immediate termination turn left if you not able to if you not able to control your speed limit within the 5 second it's immediate termination so always if you if you're driving on the 60 turn right and suddenly you see the there is a 40 sign make sure start to slow down 50 50 60 meter 
before the 40 sign start to slow down bring your car to 40 and once you enter in the 40 should be 40 so that's how you need to cross the speed sign do you have any doubt about the speed sign turn left Turn right. Very good, well done, very good patient. You can go now, you can go now. Pallav, it's the safe gap because that white car is coming in the left line. So because we are, no, you missed the opportunity, Pallav. Mm -hmm. It was a completely safe gap, but because of you don't have a confidence to go front of the car. So it will just take a, just take a one second to turn, mm -hmm. one second to control your car. And third second, you will be able to maintain your speed. So just if you have a three second gap, it's a safe gap. But as you are a, like a beginner or medium driver, so choose a five second gap. So five second is completely safe for you. You don't need to look a one minute or two minute or a, or a very long distance. If you see a five second distance, means it's a safe then quickly go and quickly maintain your car maintain your speed limit and just follow the speed limit because many times students when they turning left or right from the um, side road to main road they, they they don't have a confidence to go front of the car so they're looking the proper completely safe gap no one is there turn right because you will not able to find a like empty road so you must need to have a confidence to go front of the car so always choose five second gap five seconds if you will see if you have enough you can go come as you can see five second is very quick yeah. so you don't need a like long distance once you see a little bit gap, just go with the confidence. Once you're going to try two, three times, then it will be very easy for you. So as you can see, this is the speed sign 40. This is permanent is a 40 sign. Yes. Many times students, they get confused about the school zones and the permanent zones. As you saw, there was a 40 sign. It was a, just a 40 sign. Means that is a permanent speed. Permanent speed of this road is a 40. If there will be 40 and the time will be mentioned, that yeah. will be the school job. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can uh, di di difference between turn right school zone and the main speed sign. End of this street, turn right please. Many times students, they, they don't understand when they need to give indicator. So always give your indicator 3 seconds before. 
थ्री हाउस बिफोर इवन यू कैन गिव इट फाइव और सिक्स हाउस बिफोर आल्सो ओके सो आई विल शो यू नाउ व्हेन यू नीड टू गिव योर इंडिकेटर व्हाट इज द राइट प्लेस टू गिव इंडिकेटर टर्न राइट सो यू कैन गिव योर इंडिकेटर फ्रॉम हियर एज यू कैन सी दिस इज फर्स्ट हाउस सेकेंड हाउस थर्ड हाउस फोर्थ हाउस सो वी गिव अवर इंडिकेटर जस्ट बिफोर फोर हाउस सो इवन इफ यू विल गिव फाइव और सिक्स और सेवन हाउस बिफोर इट इज कंप्लीटली सेफ मेक श्योर डोंट गिव टू लेट मैनी स्टूडेंट वेन दे थिंकिंग 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 दे गिव देर इंडिकेटर वेरी लेट सो द अदर रोड यूजर एंड द ट्रैफिक नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वेयर यू गोइंग सो टर्न लेफ्ट वेरी गुड वेल डन दिस इज वेरी गुड इंडिकेटर so you give it around 5 house before that is completely fine make sure don't give too early also like 10 or 15 house mm-hmm. before many student when i say to them give a little bit early they start to give too early and sometime i say give little they start to give too late so i try to make it easy for them i always say to them give it Three, four, or five, or six, or seven house before it's a completely fine. Mm. So, which li- uh, as you we are driving on the road, there is a side, there is a very small line. Which line is this one? Uh, the small line. It's a bike line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any time if you turning left, you must need to do shoulder check. Turn left, please. Do your shoulder check. No bike is bikes is coming. So go completely to left hand side. Make position very good. Many times students just they just fail because of position. Mm-hmm. Every time you turn left, keep your car close to the curb. Make sure, yes and stop sign here. Mm-hmm. Very good. Well done. Very good stop. and go directly to right line directly to right line yes very good well done so now i'm going to show you about give way traffic light do you know about give way traffic light no okay so give way traffic light as you can see the give way traffic light first of all you must need to give way to everyone like right give your right indicator so we going right from this give way traffic light so you must need to give your right indicator and you need to stop in the middle you can go with now because no one is coming okay if no one is coming and you can go if someone is coming you must need to give way so how you will understand this is the give way or a normal traffic light how you will understand palak uh, this is the give way traffic light or a, like a normal traffic like like other traffic lights if there is a like common light for both of like you are very close uh, if if there is look the, there is a two type of the lights everywhere yeah the main light and the arrow arrow light yeah. arrow yeah. light yeah. if there is a, there is a main light with arrow means if the arrow is green you are free to go yeah. you are free to go but if there is a only main light then you must need to give it to all the upcoming vehicle you need to stop your car in the middle of the intersection and you need to give it to all the upcoming vehicles if you find a safe gap you can go if you don't find a safe gap once light start to change to yellow and the other road you just start to slow down you can go so now it you are you are okay with give way traffic light so turn left please very good well done you did very good shoulder check here because we cross the bike line this time you remember it well done how did you remember palak when we were when you turn this left i was i am very impressed for from you you did your shoulder check how did you identify you need to do a shoulder check here i am just 
like focusing on every turn like how to like if i'm turning or if i'm stopping what i have to do before stopping i'm just thinking and reminding it just thinking i just want to ask like wh- how why you did shoulder check there because um, we were i'm i'm just crossing the line there was one yeah. uh, bike very, line over there yeah very nice yeah. very good well done so because there was a bike line that's why we did a shoulder check as you can see this road is a little bit bendy yeah so bend also keep your car left many times students they drive in the middle or they go completely right in the bending yeah. so bending also keep your car left turn left very good well done for a turning a left your position is very long nice well done you not losing any point because many times student when they turn left they keep their car straight make sure when you turn left you need to keep your car little bit bent little bit left hand side so you not going to lose any point in the positioning check your middle mirror whenever you pressing your brake don't forget to check your middle mirror end of this straight turn right middle mirror you can stop it uh, uh, stop okay. do you know you, if someone is coming I you can stop, stop you have to stop in the middle yeah. you know that that's very good if yeah. it's safe you can go yeah. any time you crossing middle of the island so make sure you can stop your car if no one is coming middle of the island if someone is if some if no one is there you can directly go your speed went to 51 and 52 make sure in the driving test any time turn right any time you going to cross your speed limit more than 5 second it's immediate termination because when you are driving for a long time people they forget to check their speed limit because they think there is nothing to check but be careful be very conscious about your speed limit any time your speed will be go if you dry if any speed limit is more than 5 second over speeding is zero tolerance it's a straight fail straight way they going to say to you please pull over so over speeding be very careful so whenever you driving keep your eye on the speed limit light is changing look this one you did very bad we was there there was a turn right we going to turn right right here right here oh, sorry. no problem if you not able to do it no problem this is we was turning from main road to side road that's i was trying to teach you but before there was a we was turning right there was a two three car was standing front of us yeah. if there is a two three cars are standing front of us as you and you are on a very slow speed limit you are in very slow speed be very careful be very extra careful because the light can change any time yeah if lights get yellow make sure your decision should be prepared to stop not prepared to go oh. yeah. 
okay so because if you are not able if because if you, that last traffic light you can stop your car very safe, safely because we was on a very slow speed yeah. very slow speed and light become a yellow before entering to uh, intersection so we have enough time to stop our car if you have enough time to stop your car so you must need to stop if you not going to stop your car it, it's a major, it's a critical error major mistake but if you are very close and you don't have a time to stop you can go so you don't need to always stop and always go move to left line please when you think that or next traffic light turn left sometime they they use a little bit tricky next traffic light turn left so if they say to you like that that come come to left left side line and turn left because left side line will go left sometime you are in a right line and they say to you turn left into middle line so go to left line and then turn left because you cannot turn right from left line mm. make sure the, here be very careful check right hand side mm. and left straight side because no one is coming you can go because you you was watching uh, too much and someone beep you also did you heard the someone beep you mm. so so be very careful you need to be extra careful you need to be very alert and very active if if no one is there quickly check everywhere and quickly move as you know these days people they don't have a patience don't have a patience if you going to wait for little time some time people they start to beep you Uh, beep, beep, beep. If they will beep, beep you. Sometimes the tester is looking little bit here and there, so you can fail your driving test. But if somebody beep you without any reason, so no problem. So, like you are checking and somebody beep you without any reason, so no problem. But if you if you going to wait without any reason and if then somebody beep you. then it's a immediate termination move to right line please when you feel safe very good well done very good line changing palak look speed limit is 60 palak and you going on 65 so over speeding is as i said is a zero tolerance so you must need to slow slow down just before entering to the 60 50 or 60 meter before do it maintain your speed limit yeah. okay so you enter you you cross two time before you, there was a 40 sign you cross the 40 sign in 45 and now it was a 60 you cross the 60 sign in 65 check your middle mirror after 10 seconds when you crossing the traffic light make sure very carefully look right left because someone can cross the red light also yeah. turn right using left line make sure start to move little early there is a slip line for turning right there is a special line for turning a right make sure if there is a slip line start to move it early to start to move from the dotted line the first dot you need to start to move if you will start to move a little bit late sometime you cross the solid line sometime from the back side people they start to move and it will be very hard for you after
next traffic light turn left There is also a slip line for turning a left. Very good, well done. Turn left into Wick Road. You must need to, very good, well done. Very good shoulder check. Because there is a bike line, always you must need to do shoulder check. So turn right there. And just park your car anywhere, wherever you feel safe. Again, Palak. Once your test finish, and if you parking in the any parking, if you park little bit outside the line, it's fine. They don't mark here. Once your test finish, but make sure be very careful. Don't hit the curbs. Look very carefully back. Sometimes the back side for someone is coming. Look back. When you reverse, look back, Palak. Back make sure this is very important point many times students they look forget to look back you most need to look back whenever you reverse you're doing reverse parking yes okay. in the test make sure you don't need to do reverse parking palak just park straight parking is easier because look you you're not able to perfect without any reason you will go forward backward forward back someone can beep you horn you so if you are very expert then do it so do it look you because oh. you your your tire touched to the curb that's why your car is not going back Yeah, just park straight. Straight is more easier. Even if you will park a little bit here, there, outside the line, it's completely fine, no problem. Once you finish, park in parking. Very good, well done, Palak. So that's how your driving test is going to be. These things they're going to ask you in the driving test. So do you have any doubt about anything? Mm -hmm. You did you most. Just, you just tell me, but yeah, you did most of the thing very good. I will highly recommend you, and this is my feedback to you. Uh, stop sign, you did major mistake. Always stop sign, full stop, full stop for three seconds. Roundabout. Roundabout. You must need to go when you feel safe, mm -hmm. because many times you not going. Okay, and the third thing, always stop your car behind the line one meter behind the line and the fourth thing always control your speed limit make sure whenever you entering to any speed sign if the speed limit is for you entering 60 to 40 make sure slow down before entering to 40 okay and the uh, and the fifth thing is always do look back whenever you reverse most common mistake students they do when they reverse they forget to look back okay and teach you about three point turn reverse parallel parking and pull lever three point turn use use right side driveway if you are doing using driveway three point turn reverse parallel parking uh, and pull lever be expert in these three things so this is the my feedback to you so so you're doing very good well done i will highly recommend you you need some lessons more and after that you will be okay 
But I have booked my test on when you have a test on Monday. On Monday you have a test for day two? after tomorrow. Look, we will do our best to help you as much we can uh, because as you can see you're doing bit mistake but we will do our best because you already book your driving test yeah. we don't have any another option yeah. okay. okay so thank you thank you so much my thank dear you. friend thank for you. watching this video <laughs> we'll see you soon with the next video so monday after test